Once upon a time Jusu was on top of the world, with a net worth of over 1 billion Singapore dollars. However, with the collapse of the high-profile cryptocurrency hedge fund he co-founded, 3 Eros Capital, 3AC. Debts of over 4 billion Singapore dollars, and most recently, an arrest at Changi Airport, Ju has seen a stunning reversal of fortune in just a few short years. Ju was arrested while he was trying to leave Singapore on Friday last week. According to Tinio, the firm appointed as the joint liquidator of 3AC after its failure. However, an October 5th Thursday report from Reuters said that police in Singapore appeared to confirm Ju's arrest, saying that a 36-year-old man had been arrested on September 29th at Changi Airport, although the man was not named in the email the police sent Reuters. Nor was the matter elaborated on. Tinio told the Business Times that Ju was given a four-month prison sentence under a committal order due to his failure to cooperate with investigations into 3AC. Carl Davies was given the same committal order. Although the co-founder of 3AC remains at large, Ju, a Singaporean, and Davies, an American, founded 3AC in 2012 at the kitchen table of their apartment. The two men were working as traders at Credit Suisse at the time. At one point, their crypto assets were allegedly worth several billion dollars. However, a court in the British Virgin Islands put the company under liquidation in June 2022 due to 3AC's failure to pay its creditors. Furthermore, 3AC was reprimanded shortly afterwards by the Monetary Authority of Singapore because it had provided false information and breached industry licensing rules for fund management. After the failure, Ju sold his Buket Timer 48.8 million Singapore dollar good class bungalow, which he had bought only seven months before. The Buket Timer GCB was one of three bungalows that Ju now 37, purchased between 2019 and 2021 for a total amount of 83.55 million Singapore dollars. In addition to the three GCBs owned by Ju and others connected to 3AC, the assets also included a townhouse and a shop house, plus a yacht and a fleet of high-end cars. There, Ju spent a lot of time playing video games, maybe like 12 hours a day but eventually started going into the ocean, surfing, taking hard walks, getting back into gym routine, reading books, learning new languages.